So this is return. Oh yeah, it's quite loud. Uh, return of the mutant camels. Music arranged by Ben Daglish. Uh, apparently it's a traditional Peruvian song, huh? According to that? Well, let me show you what I'm looking at. There you go. Now you know as much as I do. Another, so... The creative process is iterative and evolutionary. So, um, take a look at the camel. Um, it's got a lot of character. Still not even remotely uh, biologically accurate. But look at it. It's took its tail. I can go on and on about it. But so, so already you see that it's, uh, it's he's not treating it as a, a, a top tier title, but he's already put more character into it um, than he had before. Now, this next part is really interesting. So, it's a non-linear game. This is a map that leads you to, oh, how many, so we're talking about, it's 100 levels. So you can see now, you can actually have access to any level at any time. And there are some variables here you can adjust, which uh, I, I never actually learned. I've, I've played this game twice, three times, sorry. And it's a boatload of fun. Uh, and you gotta, so you have to open, but it's, it's, a, it's a different way of getting to the, the waves. And, you know, it's that. It was what I forgot to mention about um, Encipital. I remember reading at the time that Jeff had said that he was trying to get a uh, breakout like that starting in a straight line and moving forward. He wanted to be able to play, he wanted the player to be able to experience levels in more of an order that they dictate. And he thought that a map would be a way of doing that. And, and it was. I don't think anybody else ever did that. Um, well, I don't know enough about video games to, to say that. That might not be true. But it was certainly, I thought it was innovation at the time. Oh, look at this. So, you know, you've got that kind of 64 trick of, of uh, opening the screen, top and bottom. Putting sprites in it. Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, that's a detail I'm not clear on. Uh, but I think so. Uh, is that the game that came out on MAD? I don't know. I'm getting like a lot of time to... Uh, yeah. So in this one you can fly. I mean not just jump. You can fly and drop little camel bombs. background is very different from the previous two. We've got parallax scrolling clouds and a parallax scrolling uh, landscape. And then he's just thrown over into the next year. In, in, a, in a couple of, in a matter of years, he's done a bunch of tricks. And, you know, he's demo experiments and CompuMan and things from writing more games. But it's still a walking camel shooting stuff game. You know what I mean? Let's go this way. Whoa. Yeah. It's as unforgiving as uh, as Mama Llama. So yeah. So the the, the first time I saw. It, a map selection like that was was in Mama Lama, and there was like little oh, liquors. And it gives you the opportunity to, to learn where the levels are and, and maybe not tackle them until you uh, uh, feel ready, the right pickups, whatever. Oh, yeah. Don't do that. I've seen that level before. Hey, it's, it's the ghost. It's Pac-Man. Or 
some off-brand homage. Wait, what was... Was I getting shot? Oh. So, you know, if you look at this as like a, a final statement uh, from Jeff as a, as a designer to a piece of hardware he was, that would was very good to him in terms of like financial success and creative freedom. It's a, it's a very interesting game. That's it for me, yeah. 2% of the game completed. Yeah, that looks like a game that I've been playing.